This little device is uh, called Kilowatt. It's actually a little plug-in watt meter, and you get one for about 30 bucks. Nice little devices if you want to find out how much an appliance is drawing. Gives you uh, volts, amps, watts, frequency, watts. We'll wait for this thing to spin up again. What I want to do is take a reading before we swap the bearings out and after and see how much of a difference there is. When it's in a high speed spin. Just as a test, to see if there's a noticeable difference. Okay, it must be ramping up. Power is going up. We are on the uh, the regular wash, the red side of this, the timer. We get a faster spin. And there's no clothes in the machine, it's empty. So I just want to get a, a dry run. Fifty watts. Well, speed up more. Now these bearings aren't as bad as I thought, but they are getting loud. Two hundred watts. Hear the machine in the background. And 500 watts. You want to do it? Nope. Okay, let's take a look at the amps. 4.8 amps. Volts, 122.6. Amps, 400 watts. Shut it down. Hey guys, it's Jeff Hartman, the Neptune Man. And I uh, created this video because I want to show you how much power that the Maytag Neptune draws. This machine was a MAH 4000 AWW. And after I changed the bearings, I checked it again and it wasn't really higher, so it's not really conclusive that you can, you know, determine if you have bad bearings by measuring the power consumed by the machine. Now I noticed in the beginning it went from like 55 to almost 100 watts and what happened there, uh, the pump kicked on which is about 40 watts so that's why it uh, jumped up from you know about 50 to you know 95 or so. So uh, the pump was on to drain the water out before it started ramping up process so if you have any questions please contact me again this is jeff hartman the neptune man and you can visit me at washerbearings.com thank you